Hi students, today we will be discussing some of the main major important questions from the chapter, the third level by Jack Finney. Okay, so let us look at the first question. Do you think that the third level was a medium of escape for Charlie? Why? Yes, the third level was a medium of escape for Charlie. He had a strange daydream to escape from his present worries. He believed that life was more peaceful in the past unlike the present which is full of worries, wars and tension. He was always lost in his own thoughts. One day he found himself at the third level as he had wished. And this is a two mark question. Okay. You have to write it uh, in about 30 to 40 words. Okay. So this is how you answer. Now the second question. Would you infer from Sam's letter to Charlie? Sam was a psychiatrist, but he too had his dreams. The description of Galesburg given by Charlie had also infected him. He too wanted to escape from the present world and so he also discovered the third level to escape. The letter he wrote to Charlie bore the postmark of July 18. 1894. But strangely, the letter was in the grandfather's collection. Sam had crossed the boundaries of time and space or else it was Charlie who was daydreaming. This too is a Tuma question which uh, you have to answer in about 30 to 40 or uh, 40 to 60 words. Alright, now the third question the modern world is full of insecurity, fear, war, worry and stress. What are the ways in which we attempt to overcome them? The past has always been alluring. Man always believes that the past was pleasant without haste and worries. People lived carefree lives. So we try to elude from the present harsh realities of life to the imaginary past. We do so in different ways. We write or read charming stories about the past. We read stories of love and adventure. And some people may pursue some hobbies like music, painting or reading scriptures. So here are the question, the second question is what are the ways in which we attempt to overcome them and I've given three ways, okay. And now here, yeah, so we try to elude from the present harsh realities. What do you mean by elude? Elude means to escape. So we try to escape from the uh, present harsh realities, okay. Question 4, this is a major 5 mark question, okay? So you can, uh, you have to write in about uh, 100 words. Do you see an intersection of time and space in the story? Yes, the story clearly shows an intersection of time and space. Firstly, the first two levels of Grand Central Station were located in the present time while the third level existed in the 1890s. Secondly, Charlie and his wife, Louisa, lived in the present time yet Charlie goes to get old currency to buy tickets to go to the Galesburg of 1894. The old architecture of the platform at the third level is different from the platform of the modern times. The archaic manner of dressing by the people and the newspaper, The World, dated 11 June 1894, also overlap with Charlie's real-time world and existence. Finally, the letter that was mailed to Charlie's grandfather on 18 July 1894 Highlights the intersection of time and space. Question 5. 
apparent illogic apparent illogicality sometimes turns out to be a futuristic projection discuss this is also a five marks question okay it is true that apparent illogicality sometimes turns out to be a futuristic projection a good number of scientific inventions sounded ridiculous and absurd till some brilliant minds gave them a concrete shape before the wright brothers invented the first aeroplane nobody could have dared to believe that man could fly there are many other examples of inventions which we were which were conceived in dreams but now are part of our everyday reality all this emphasizes that fantasies of one point of time that seem illogical may turn out to be revolutionary things that change the future of the mankind it would not be far fetched to think about railway stations fitted with time machine devices from one era to another it is just a matter of time question 6 this is a two marks question what do we learn from the third level the third level is a medium of escape through which man earns to be away from life's harsh realities modern life is devoid of peace and tranquility so man in his quest to seek solace escapes to a place where his aim is to seek the realization of his dreams and unfulfilled unfulfilled wishes of his subconscious mind here earns means wishes more devoid means a uh, modern life is devoid of peace and tranquility means it is lacking peace and tranquility okay lack of so man in his quest to seek solace means uh solace means peace of mind you can say okay peace escapes to a place okay yeah that's it so this is also a tuma question question 7 what is the theme of the story the third level The story dwells on the theme of escapism as man desires to get rid of the modern world which is full of war and security fear stress and anxiety he is overwhelmed by the harsh realities of life describe the irony at the end of the chapter Charlie had found the third level and desired to go back to the Galesburg of 1894. It is ironical that at the end, not Charlie, but a psychiatrist friend who had scorned his discovery, uses the third level to reach Galesburg of 1894 and tells Charlie to keep looking for it. Question 9. Describe his way to the new level. Whom does the pronoun his refer to? his refer to charlie okay the corridor he was in began to angle left and slant downward all that could be heard was his own footsteps then he heard a hollow roar means the open space and people talking The tunnel turned sharp left and he went down a short flight of stairs and came to the third level. So this was how he reached the third level. Question 10. How was the third level different from the second second level, okay? The room was smaller. There were fewer ticket windows and train gates. and the information booth in the center was wood and all looking the lights were dim and sort of flickering as they were open flame gas lights question 11 describe galesburg 1894 it was a wonderful town with big old frame houses huge lawns and tremendous trees 
The summer evenings were twice as long and men smoked cigars and women waved palm leaf fans with the fireflies all around in a peaceful world. The people had lived in peace and harmony and had a lot of leisure time. So this was how the 1894 Galesburg was. Question 12. Comment on, I left the same way I came. It indicates his longing for the third level. When he entered the third level, he kept walking blankly, not turning back, and he himself admitted losing his ways in subways. But surprisingly, he knew the exact path out. When he went in, see, he lost his ways in the subways. But surprisingly, he knew the exact way out. Okay? Question 13. Yeah, this is an important question. Uh, again, an important five mark. Okay? Five mark question, uh, which you have to write in about 100 to 120. Write the character sketch of Charlie. The protagonist of the story, Charlie, is a 31-year-old man living in New York. He is a victim of stress, insecurity and fear and wants to run away from the reality. He is fond of stamp collection. He yearns to lead a good simple life of his grandfather's time when things were pretty nice and peaceful. He wants to go to Galesburg, Illinois, in the year 1894. He is an imaginative person. Hence, on the wings of his imagination, he takes a flight to the non-existent world, which is the third level at Central Station. In short, Charlie is a true representative of a modern man who is torn between the poles and pressures of a hectic modern life and wants to escape since he is not happy. So this is the character sketch of Charlie. Question 14. This is a two marks question. What did Charlie do to be sure that he was really on the third level? The narrator walked over to a newsboy. He glanced at the stack of newspapers. It was the world and the world had not been published for years. The lead story was about President Cleveland. Later on, he confirmed from the public library files that the newspaper was dated 11 June 1894. Question 15. Why did the narrator turn towards the ticket windows? Why did he run back from there? The narrator turned towards the ticket window to buy tickets to go to Galesburg, Illinois in the year of 1894. When Charlie produced money to pay for the two tickets, the clerk stared at him as the currency did not match with the currency of that time. He accused him of trying to cheat him and threatened to hand him over to the police. Narrator turned away thinking that there was nothing nice about jail even in 1894. Question 16. How did Louisa react when the narrator told his wish to go to the third level to buy tickets? When the narrator told Louisa about his wish, she got pretty worried. She was a loving and a caring wife. She got alarmed at Charlie's claim of having been to the third level. His exchanging the currency was a cause of concern. She thought the third level to be a product of Charlie's imagination and asked him to stop looking for it. However, after some time, they both started looking for the third level. 17. What is the evidence that Charlie often sought escape through, the, through time travel? Charlie had often bumped into new doorways, arcways and stairways at the Grand Central and got lost. Once he had gone, once he had got into a long tunnel about a mile long and another time had landed in an office building on the 46th street, three blocks away. This makes it evident that Charlie often sought escape through wishful dreaming and nostalgic memories. He often lived in a world of fantasy. 
18. What had Sam Weiner written? What had Sam Weiner written on the paper in the first day cover? Sam Weiner had invited the narrator to the third level. It was worth it. It added that it was true there existed the third level and he had found that. He had been there for two weeks. He could hear someone playing a piano down the street. They were singing, seeing. Sorry. Yeah, we were here. They were singing. They were singing, seeing Nelly home. Okay. Question nineteen. What happened to the narrator's psychiatrist friend, Sam Weiner? Would you deduce from it? One day, the narrator's psychiatrist friend, Sam Weiner, disappeared. He was a city boy. He always said that he liked Galesburg very much and its sound. From this, I deduce that even Sam was affected by the stress of modern living and saw temporary refuge by traveling through time. What did the narrator do the next day? The narrator withdrew his entire money from the bank. He bought old style currency to buy two tickets to Galesburg. He got less than 200 old style bills for his $300. He consoled himself for having got less money by the fact that life in 1894 Galesburg was quite cheaper as compared to the modern life. What do you infer from his knowing that that he could buy tickets that would take him to go anywhere and to a time in the past? He wanted to go to Galesburg at the past where everything was nice and peaceful and he never wanted to come back. So yes, by this we come to the end of the session. We have discussed we had uh, we have discussed 21 questions which included uh, two marks as well as five mark question okay these are quite important questions uh, which are previous year board question so do check out these questions and learn all these questions as these are important i'll be putting the answers to the other chapters in english in the next session till then stay tuned see you bye bye